At the peak of the anti-terrorism war, which led to increased security surveillance in Abuja, the State Department announced in 2013 the recovery of some arms and ammunition at some locations in Abuja. Among the locations was a popular supermarket in the center of town. The SSS also made some arrests of some Nebanese, both in Abuja and Kano. And the three accused persons were subsequently charged to court under the Anti-Terrorism Act. The Federal High Court found only Talal Roda guilty and sentenced him to life imprisonment, while the other two were set free. Talal's legal team subsequently filed an appeal raising eight issues, including that of jurisdiction. Justice Datigo Mohammed, who read the lead judgment of the court, agreed with the accused that the trial court lacks jurisdiction on the case. The court also noted that the law under which the accused was convicted was not in existence at the time of arrest. He subsequently discharged and acquitted the accused. The law is fairly well settled that except for terrorism offenses, you should try an accused person in the judicial division where he or she is alleged to have committed the offense. But the Supreme Court has spoken. I think that is all I have to say. Nigerians will still ask. Well, who owns the this point way. is we have done our job. And they stayed the part of our However, in a separate case of corruption and mismanagement, the Supreme Court directed a former Minister of Aviation, Babalola Burishadi, to go back and stand trial at the High Court on allegation of mismanaging the 5.2 billion Naira Aviation Safe Tower project. Borishadi was first charged to court on the 15th count in 2009. Wumi Obaburi, AIT News, Abuja.